I've done a lot of human body effects recently. A lot of things I build end up going unnoticed. Um, in Conspiracy Theory, we built a head of Patrick Stewart that Mel Gibson has to bite the nose off of. And a lot of people don't even realize that that's a puppet head he's, he's actually latching on to. Many times I have to work with digital effects houses to help create the effect. In Mission Impossible 2, we ripped off Tom Cruise's face that way uh, and removed the head of Aerosmith, Steven Tyler, and then we put it back on again. In other cases, we've had to create lifelike creatures for scanning purposes, as we did with ILM for the Hulk. We've also decapitated Christian Slater, Martin Landau, Christopher Walken. But I also really enjoy creating original characters uh, in the form of creature suits worn by actors or building mechanical puppets. When I start a design for a character, whether it's a mechanical creature or a prosthetic makeup, it always starts with a sketch, uh, usually on the computer. And after the design's been approved, we'll move into building it three-dimensionally. Well, I've been lucky enough to be involved with some characters that have become rather well-known, uh, like Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Chucky from Child's Play, and the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. We've had to create many different animal characters. Some were more fantasy-oriented than others. We've had to make dog puppets that had to match real dogs, and we've even applied makeup to animal actors. Sometimes projects vary in scale. For example, the smallest thing we've done was a mechanical life-size cockroach that was used in the fan. And one of the largest things was an oversized tortoise puppet in Radio Flyer. I guess the designing part has got to be the most exciting stage. You know, to create something that, that already exists in this world or even things that, that live beyond. <laughs> 